Hello and welcome to Jackson's Job. Today we're going to make Raymond's favorite biscuit treat. Here are the ingredients if you want to follow along, but they'll also be included below. First, let me show you how well these go over with our pooches. This is Raymond, Maggie, and Jackson. Jackson is the little guy, Maggie's the one that's always sniffing for more food, and Raymond is the one with the big doe eyes and the sweetest personality. Today is his 10 year anniversary. Isn't he just adorable? Preheat your oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit or 180 degrees Celsius. In a large bowl, we're going to use one cup of brown or white rice flour. That's 160 grams. To that, we're going to add in one tablespoon of oil, 15 milliliters. You can use whatever oil is safe for your dog to use. You can use a canola or a vegetable or a coconut oil. One large egg, that's about 50 grams. And then we're going to add in some broth water or milk. The brown rice flour uses more water than the white rice flour. I'm going to start out with two tablespoons and then just add more as I need it. I typically only need about two tablespoons, three to four on an occasion. Then we're going to stir this till we can't stir it anymore and we're going to turn it onto our work surface and knead it until it becomes a nice pliable dough. If it isn't coming together after just a few minutes, you may need to go ahead and add a little bit more water. Add it a teaspoon at a time. But you should end up with a really nice soft dough like this. It shouldn't stick to your hands and you should be able to roll it out and make nice cookies. Now if you want to, at this point you can use a silicone mat like I'm doing here or sprinkle down some more rice flour so it doesn't stick to your work surface. And you want to roll this about a quarter inch thick or six millimeters. You can use whatever size cookie cutter that you like. I have ones that are about two inches, five centimeters, and when you use that size it takes about 15 to 20 minutes to bake. For easier cleanup, I recommend using parchment paper. You can also use a silicone mat or a nonstick tray. And then you just cut out your cookies. If you notice in the background, Raymond's already watching me. He loves these cookies and he knows these are for him on his special day. Now all these scraps you can re-roll into more cookies. And because these are our dogs, they don't care if they're a little tough. So you can manhandle this dough quite a bit and they will be just as happy as if you made them very tender. Look at Raymond. He's pacing in the background and he's really excited and can't wait to have these cookies. If you don't have a cookie cutter, you can do what I'm doing here and just take your dough and press it into a really thin layer and cut it into little squares. Dogs don't care what they look like. The shapes are for us. Regardless how you do it, you bake it 15 to 20 minutes or until golden brown on the edges. And then you let them sit for about two to three minutes before you move them to a wire rack to cool. I will tell you a really sad story. When I was making these cookies, this was back in July, and we almost lost Raymond. We really thought it was the last part of his days, and we had already started to make arrangements. Uh, <laughs> We have had a lot of close calls with this boy. He's got a lot of health problems, and for some reason we have an amazing vet that just keeps pulling him from the brink of death, and we have been blessed for 10 wonderful years with this dog. He is the most sweetest, gentlest dog, and I wish everybody could know Raymond. I'm actually getting pretty teary-eyed talking about it. He is just an amazing, sweet, eager-to-please dog that has never had a mean bone in his body, and he just has so many health issues. He's the reason why I started baking these treats, because he has so many foods he cannot enjoy, and this just brings such a smile to his face, and he's always wagging his tail when he gets these. Raymond is such a happy dog, and as you can see, Raymond is such a happy dog, and as you can tell from the difference, Maggie is kind of a little sharp when it comes to getting food, and Raymond takes it so gently. Jackson, on the other hand, he, he's also a little sharp, and you have to throw things at him, or he will take fingers. Now look at how happy these dogs are to enjoy these treats. And what I really like about this video is, again, this was filmed during the summertime when he was very sick, and he was not responding very much at all. And, and I made these treats trying to get him just to engage with us, because he didn't even know his name at one point. And it just brought him back to life, and slowly the medicine change and just interacting with him every day, he made a huge turnaround. He did a complete 180, and we are so blessed to have him with us for 10 years, and I hope we have more years to come with him. Raymond, you are the best dog in the world, and I couldn't ask for a better friend. Everybody, please wish Raymond a happy anniversary.
like, comment, and subscribe, and tell me about your best friend. I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for visiting, and as always, happy baking!